You guys that have been following this channel this summer know me and Larry reviewed a show called P Valley. And it starred this young lady who started out being my girl. I got Mercedes. off a bandwagon. Then I got back into Mercedes. But <laughs> this is not a P Valley um, topic. This is the mayor of Chuckaleeza topic. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah Washington, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know his history, he started out on this little show called Grey's Anatomy. He was a black mm -hmm. doctor. And this is Catherine Heigl. I always tease my wife and say, you, you are kind of the resemblance of a black version of her. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know the backstory, he got fired and he blames mm -hmm. it on Catherine Heigl. They had a big feud. And turns out Catherine Heigl thought she was higher than what she really was. She was starstruck. But take a look at what the new feud is about involving these two former co-stars. Okay, so Patrick Dempsey is back on Grey's Anatomy and Isaiah Washington is feuding with Katherine Heigl? Seriously, what year is it again? I'm sorry. On Monday, more than a decade after his controversial exit from the hit ABC drama, Isaiah took to Twitter to slam his former co-star Katherine, accusing her of saying that he should never be allowed to speak publicly. Quote, this woman once proclaimed that I should never be allowed to speak publicly again. The world agreed with her proclamation back then and protested for my job and my head in 65 languages. I wish I was on Twitter in 2007 because I will never stop exercising my free speech. And just in case you weren't clear who he was talking about, he included a picture of Catherine along with his tweet. Yikes. This all started back in 2006. Catherine, who played Dr. Izzy Stevens on the show, alleged that Isaiah, who played Dr. Preston Burke, had made a homophobic slur towards their co-star, T.R. Knight, on set. The now 57-year-old actor denied the claim at the 2007 Golden Globe Awards. No, I did not call T.R. a f it never happened. <laughs> and that's when Catherine reportedly declared that Isaiah needs to just not speak in public. ABC later announced Isaiah would not be returning to the show for its fourth season. And a few months later, during an interview with Larry King Live, he admitted that he actually did use the derogatory word while arguing with Patrick Dempsey about being late to work. Well, I said several bad words, as well as he did. To him? Uh, to him about how I was feeling. I said, there's no way you're going to uh, treat me like the B word or a P word or the F word. You can't treat me this way in front of our crew. So you weren't referring to never. him being an F person or never. anybody else? Never, born. Larry. Still, Isaiah penned an official apology, and before being let go from Grays, he shot this PSA for GLAAD. When you use words that demean a person because of their sexual orientation, race, or gender, you send a message of hate, a very powerful message. But we all have the power to demand better from one another and ourselves. And two years later in 2009, he echoed that sentiment when E.T. caught up with him on the set of his photo shoot for the No Hate campaign in support of gay marriage. Everyone should be able to have their dignity and their pride and their integrity and their honor. So that's one of, one of the reasons why I'm here. But apparently that whole Catherine thing isn't water under the proverbial bridge for Isaiah. In addition to that tweet that I mentioned earlier, he also wrote that Catherine was, quote, the first Karen. And when another fan asked why he was digging up the past, he tweeted, quote, because it's the truth. The end. E.T. has reached out to reps for T.R. Knight, Isaiah, and Catherine for comment. Do you think that there's any chance in the future that you will regret leaving Grey's at all? Um, yeah, I do every day. You know, it's it's a it was a really hard choice to make, and it, and you never quite know was it the right choice or the wrong choice. Catherine left the hit show a few years after Isaiah in 2010, and now a source close to the actress tells E.T. quote Catherine stood up for her close friend twice when Isaiah publicly outed him and called him a. F that's hate talk, not free speech. She is proud that she stood up for him. Catherine is and always will be an advocate and ally to LGBTQ community. <laughs> now, I, I, Larry, I loved that show back in the day. And I, I wasn't as in tune to what's going on with Hollywood and all that because I really didn't care. I just wanted to watch the TV show. 
But by all accounts, he did say the word. But at the same time, by all accounts, they said that Catherine Heigl's head blew up bigger than three Muppet babies in a square dance. So yeah. you, you've got this battle of egos going on. Um, yeah. And I will say this about both. Both of them have proven to be supporters of the LGBT community. Having said that, that still don't mean that you can't make a mistake and call somebody a word out of anger. And, I, and, and I'm going to assume he said it, and I'm not going to absorb him of saying it. But what I will say is, Larry, isn't it rather funny that after they made him go through all those pressers, all the apology tours and all that, they still fired his butt? Because Ellen Pompano or Pompanio, however you pronounce her name, she's one of the producers of that show, and she's real left. I mean, real left. And from yeah. what I understand, anything that goes on in that show goes through her, and she got rid of him, and she also played a huge role in getting rid of Catherine, Catherine Heigl, who she felt like got too big for her britches. And I said all that to say, don't you think Isaiah Washington should just let it go? Because this is what his beef really is about. He feels like after he was kicked off that show, he feel like he got um, eight balled in Hollywood. And if black ball. Black ball, excuse me, in Hollywood. <laughs> And if you go by some of the roles he's gotten, you can make a legitimate case that he did get blackballed. I'll say whiteballed, Larry, because that's who was running <laughs> Hollywood during that time. So it, it, he's got a good gig on P Valley right now. Don't you think he should just let it go? Um, probably, but we oftentimes we don't see, we don't understand why some of these things come back up because we don't always see it. I mean, these people, when you work together on these shows for years, you become friends with people. It's like anything. If you work at the same company for years, you become friends with some of the people you work with. And that doesn't stop those friends. Some of those friendships don't stop when you stop working there. And especially in a place like Hollywood, where it's, you know, it's fairly small circles anyways. And people often end up working together again on different projects. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still friends with some of his former co-stars and someone probably said, hey, you know. I was at a party and what's her name was saying something or I was, you know, talking to so-and-so and she and she brought your name up and said something. I, I I can't imagine that dude was just sitting around and all of a sudden just randomly decided to bring it up. That just, nah, there was probably something that, that, that there was probably some reason that caused it to come back up. But I mean, to be honest with you, both of them need to let it go. I mean, he said something that he said something that he shouldn't have said it ended up unfortunately costing him his job. Yeah. And, and then and then you have and then you have her. And I do remember when she left and people did talk about her head got really big because she started thinking, oh, I'm gonna be a big movie star. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and people thought she was gonna be this the like the new hot blonde chick that was gonna mm -hmm. be out there doing a, you know, doing all these big budget movies. And then it turned out that she did like one or two rom coms that were like yeah. One was halfway successful. The other one was mostly a flop. And then her, her career sort of sizzled after that or just well, fizzled. fizzled. Larry, let's just, let's just keep it real. Let's just, let's, let's just keep this thing real because that's what people listen to us. Keep it real. She was not that good of an actress. Now, now mind you, I, I, I like her to a point. But Larry, in terms of acting acumen, she was not that good. Apparently, she thought that being a blonde bombshell was going to do it for her. And she got a butt out there and realized that it takes more than just being a pretty face to make it happen when they want you to be carrying a show. And that's just being honest. And like I said, I rocked with everybody on Grey's Anatomy, but I even seen her in interviews talking as, as if she was the queen of Don. I mean, like, yeah. come on, chick. No, you haven't done nothing yet. And then the way that she was able to try to say that, turn this thing on the show, she basically said something along the lines of they wouldn't, they didn't want to commit to the contract demands. Well, hell, you're not going to get more money than Ellen on the show. Ellen getting three right. checks for that show. You're not going to get more money than her. And lo and behold, Larry, the show has still been going on a decade after they fired her. And here, here's the thing that's different, I think, with, with Ellen Pompeo, I think her last name is, is that 
The show is named after her. She mm -hmm. is the title. She's the title, you know, character of the show. And so when you when you start talking about, you know, oftentimes this is what this is what apparently is said in Hollywood. They say that the first season, the actors work for you. The second yep. season, you work together. The third season, you work for them. Because by the third season, these actors know that they have real power and they can say, I want a producer, you know, I want a producer credit. I want more say over, I want more creative say over what happens at the writing room, or I want this, I want that, I want more money. And they can do this because they know that the show is successful, it's getting picked back up, there's a fan base, all that. Well, that works when you're not on a big ensemble show. If you're on a show maybe like Friends where everybody's equal, then yeah. Or if you're on a show like, you know, like, uh, what's that one? Everyone Loves Raymond, sure. But when you're on a show like Grey's Anatomy where there's like 25 different actors, nah. Especially, I mean, Ellen, what's her name, could do it because she was a title character. They still, they needed her on that show. They need her to stay on that show for the entire life of that show. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, her, on the other hand, she was just, she was a, she was a supporting cast. She was supporting cast. She was, her character was important as long as the writers made her character important. So, you know, hmm. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I felt bad for the way things went down with him because I'll be honest with you. I do not like when people try and sit up there and say, okay, you need to go through all these, all you need to jump through all these hoops. You need to make, make all these apologies. You need to, you need to. You know, you need to to bow down and prostrate yourself in front of the uh, in front of the world, and then you do all that, and they say, "Okay, now f you, you're still fired." I don't like that. They, I mean, he said what he said, he made his apologies. There's no reason why they should have fired him. They should have they should have said, "Look, you're gonna have to play maybe a a back seat. We're gonna we're gonna reduce your role a little bit for a season to let things cool off. Then we'll bring you back in if everything's cool." But I don't think they should have fired him. But I did. I do feel like in a lot of ways they sort of blackballed him in Hollywood for a few years because the whole thing with saying something anti-gay was really at that time was just like I mean it's still a no-no, but it's it was really hot at that moment. It was right, right before the Me Too stuff, and everybody was all anti-gay at that you know against the anti-gay thing at that time, which you know. But I I think what happened is is that you 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 taught some of these people you know, moving forward, I'm not saying shit. If I, if you catch me saying something or I said something and you, and you have a problem with it, I may apologize, but I might just not say shit because I may say, I may go out there and apologize and make all these gestures. And then you still fire me. I think we saw, I think evidence of that is what we saw with Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart. They came back and said, Oh no, you can't do the Oscars. And we had this big, that the, this big campaign that was out there about Kevin Hart, no Oscars or some crap like that. And he was like, cool, I'm not going to do it. And people were like, are you going to apologize? He was like, apologize for what? For jokes I made 10, 20 years ago, 15. No, I'm not apologizing for that. He was like, I wouldn't make that joke today. Hmm. He was like, but I made that joke back then. I'm not apologizing for that. And you know, and, I think things might be different if people felt like making a true and sincere apology actually meant that meant something to the person they were apologizing to, to the community they were apologizing to. But if they're just going to take that apology and smack you down with it, a lot of people are like, I'm just not going to make it, you know? Yeah, and I think for him and his mind and stuff like that, he was probably like, look, my apology has already been made because for me, my apology is not doing those types of jokes anymore. And I haven't been doing those jokes for the last, you know, decade. So no, I mean, as far as do you want an apology? There it is. There's a whole decade of apologies by me saying, I recognize those jokes were wrong. I recognize they're offensive to your community and I have since stopped making them.